Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about my thoughts on The Rock. Just, uh, can't get over himself over this whole Black Adam thing. Look, the dude got mad at IGN because I think they was comparing Black Panther to Black Adam or some crap like that. So I was wondering why he was trending on Twitter and it's because he's in a pissy mood and everything. He's talking about how Black Panther is an established brand that's been out years before that of Black Adam and talking about like people didn't know who Black Adam or the JSA was like, you know, um, a year ago and blah, 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 and all this other stuff and that they're just babies that need to grow and, and dude, <sighs> Dude, like, <sighs> oh, gee, just admit you messed up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just, to, just admit it. Just, just admit it. You messed up. You spent way too much money on that movie. You spent way too much money on advertisement, and you copied and pasted from other movies. It was not original. People know who Black Adam is. People know who the JSA is. You know, non-DC fans don't know, but they shouldn't even matter because non-DC fans are gonna go for two reasons. One, or three reasons. One, The Rock. Two, Pierce Brosnan. And three, Henry Cavell. If your own fans aren't even going to that of your own movie, then that tells you something. That tells you something right there. It shouldn't even matter if it's a comic book movie or not. Your fans are gonna go see your movie. His fans went to go see him in those Fast and Furious movies, Hercules, uh, Walking Tall, all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? His fans aren't going to his movies no more because a lot of The Rock's movie fans have realized something. He can't act. Period. That's it. His movies are all the same. He only plays himself. And that's all. He has not played a real character in a good long time or anybody who's different from him. He didn't even went the extra step of putting the pointy ears in the hair to be Black Adam. He did not give the fans what they wanted. He wants to fight Superman because whatever reason, but we wanted him to fight Captain Marvel Shazam. And for those who wanted Superman to come back, five seconds just wasn't good enough. Because people just went on the internet to YouTube to go see that clip. I know I did. <laughs> and stuff. Oh. It's like he listened to the wrong people. He listened to the wrong fans. And like always, he got super cocky. But he should not be going around blaming other people. He should not be talking about, well, nobody knows who this person is. And all blah, blah, blah. I didn't know who Guardians of the, the Galaxy people were, and I still saw those movies and stuff. I mean, there's no excuse, and he's making an excuse because he is embarrassed right now. And people are really giving it to him online, as they should, because it would knock some of that cockiness out of him and stuff. But he needs to learn from this mistake. He should have picked up a comic book. And he should have put out a real Black Adam movie or put him in the Shazam movie because it's his fault that um, Shazam and Black Adam never met. Why? Because he made sure they stayed far apart from each other. Alrighty. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.